Hi, this is Dave, and welcome to the Polaris XL Seaplane Build Series, Part 13. Getting ready to put the floats on the wing tips here, on the bottom of the wing tips. And yes, I laminated them. I lammed my floats. Now I put lamination on everything except you can see right here this area on the top where it's going to be glued. I didn't laminate that. Just left it raw. Okay, so here's one right here that I've got foam tack on. And it's been tacking up for a few minutes. Here's the foam tack. Right there. And uh, you put some on. Then you put the two sides together, smear it around, take them off, and let it tack up for a few minutes. And that's what we have right now. Just getting that in line. You can still move the foam tack around a little bit because it doesn't dry immediately. Just make sure you put them on the bottom. <laughs> That'd be just like me to accidentally put them on the top. Alright, got it anyway. Now we'll go on and do the next one. I'll try to keep it on camera, but it's not always easy. Smear it around like that. Now I haven't laminated the wing tips here, but the rest of the wing's pretty much laminated. Okay, now I'm just going to pull it off, inspect it, and if there's areas that didn't take any glue, I'll just put a little more in there. Stick it again. It's already getting pretty tacky, as you can see. Pull it off and let that tack up a little bit more. Just cutting a little notch out of there. All right. Put it on there. Get it even with the edge of the wing. All right, getting another clamp to put on here. And there it is. So I mounted the U-Bic, or the U-Bec rather, back in here. And I did it the same way I did the Vector and the Easy UHF receiver. I put a piece of foam, tie wrapped a piece of foam to it like this. There's a little bit of glue on there too, just to glue it to the foam. And then I'm going to put more of the glue probably going to use foam tack on the bottom of this and just glue it down. That'll take care of that. And then I'm going to mount the line filter right over here. This is the line filter for the video. I'm going to mount it there. So that's all the major components. And of course the ESC is underneath here. So now the LC filter is installed right here. Same thing. Piece of foam, a tie wrap, and some of the glue and then we want to poke a hole in the side over here for the USB cable. Have the USB cable come through here. So the USB cable is actually for the vector right here. In case I need to program it. Or update the firmware, which usually happens. So I do need a port over here on the side. And I'll just cover it with a piece of tape uh, that I can peel off when I need to access it. So there's the USB port installed right here. And like I said, when I'm flying, I'll just put a piece of packing tape over it to uh, keep it protected. Okay, I have the plane upside down here. And the reason for that is I'm going to glue in these extra little strips of Depron here. It's uh, this stuff right here that we used on the fuselage earlier. And... Uh, at that time, I couldn't really glue them in because I didn't know how this was going to go together down here. But now I can, so I'm going to use some of this foam tack instead of the Super 77, the 3M Super 77. I'm going to use some of that foam tack to just glue in these strips. So I'm going to have one strip along this edge, one along this edge, and then a short one right down here across here just to make it easier to glue the bottom on and give it a little more strength. 
Okay, I'm just finishing up putting some foam tack on these pieces right here. And then I'm going to let them dry or tack up before I stick them on there. Also, down here I've added a little piece across here, a little piece of Depron to hold the wiring in place. So I've got that glued in right now too. Okay, I think they're pretty well tacked up, so let's go ahead and stick them on. I'm going to put these over here. I'll go with this one first. So what I'm going to do is just slide it in. And, you know, foam tack is... It doesn't harden right away, so you can move it around a little bit. So No big rush. Just make sure this top edge is even. Like that. If I can get a hold of it, that is. There we go. I think that's an especially important piece. This piece holds the, you know, the bottom from pressing down inside. Okay, getting ready to glue the bottom plate and cover up the rudder servo here and various wires. A lot of times people complain that I don't use a tripod and the camera kind of moves around. But the reason I do that is sometimes I want to get in quick and look at something close up. And that's the case here. So. One thing I wanted to show you was right here, I put a little plate over the hole in this bulkhead here to keep any water from flowing down into this cavity. I also added a little piece of foam across here, making a little ridge to set this on. So that was an added thing. And then back here in the tail, I went ahead and filled this little gap in with a piece of small Defron and also Right in this area, there was a hole, and I never could figure out why they had that, so I put a piece of, Ep of uh, Depron in there, too, and just filled in those little cavities. So when this goes on, it'll go on nice and flush right there. And sit down and have a nice surface to glue on. So I'm going to use the foam tack again right here. This is Beacon Foam Tack, and I got it from Stone Blue Airlines here in Virginia of the USA. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of... Uh, foam tack right along here and down all the sides. And of course with foam tack we have to go ahead and apply the piece that we want to glue on top of it then pull it back off and let it tack up. So here we go I'm going to apply it. Okay now going back along this edge. I'm going to put a little bit right here. Just make sure it contacts right there good. So I'm going to put the rough side down. Alright, I'm going to start down here. Just make sure that is pretty well centered up. And then I'm going to bend it a little bit and drop it right in there. And then I'll center this part up. Alright, now I'm going to take it off. Back off, bend it a little, take it off. Just set it down and we're going to let it tack up. Okay, I think it's tacky enough now. Let's go ahead and we'll just put it back in the same way we got it in before. It's very hard to move it now. It's, it's really very tacky at this point. Okay, we'll leave it on there and let it finish drying. So I'm just uh, waiting on some more glue to do the top of this fuselage here on the Polaris XL. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to try working on the nose a little bit. So here's the nose piece. It's just a bunch of foam that we put together earlier. And I have to basically glue it on here. But before I do, I want to trim it a little bit. So that's what I've done right here is I've taken the X-Acto blade and just cut down here. I drew a line where I think it should be. It's kind of like whittling. And then I just uh, cut off a chunk so I can get started on the sanding. Then I'll just take my core sanding block and start sanding it smooth right there. Now I've got a blue dot on there to mark what the top is. Because I don't want to sand any of the top yet. Because that has to accept the top cover. It has to stick up a little bit to accept the top cover. 
So I'm basically just doing the sides right now. So just lining it up here to see how it looks. And then I'm going to try to sand this to match the curve of the nose right there. So it looks like a little more has to come off the front to get that to curve around. Okay, so here it is, pretty well sanded on all sides and tapered a little bit every which way with the sandpaper. And that'll go on right there. And then the top piece will butt right up against it right there. Here's the nose that I did earlier and sanded it. And I've applied some foam tack all to the surface. And then I stuck it on there and then pulled it off and let it tack up. And it's been sitting here for a few minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the nose on. Alright. I'm going to use this little piece of Depper on here just to get an idea. Both sides equal, get the bottom equal. I'm just going to use some electrical tape and stick it. And of course, this the sides of the fuselage are laminated right now, so it sticks really good to that lamination. So I finished laminating the bottom of the plane and the wings. So everything's laminated pretty much except for this top edge right here. And maybe a little bit on the nacelle. But as you can see, I've now glued on the horizontal stabilizer. And all the control surfaces are hinged. I've also glued on the vertical stabilizer right here. So use this foam tack. Foam tack from Beacon. So now the next thing will be probably wiring up these control rods to the rudder and the elevator and the ailerons and I'm trying to figure out where to put the GPS and I've got this little plastic packing material I had from a battery I'm gonna to try to put that over it to waterproof it and I'm just looking for a location for it right now Interplay. 